there's a lot of work involved with beekeeping that regular people don't understand. Like if you want to keep expanding, you got to make frames. These frames here, I'm going to put wire in across three times and then I'm going to put a strip of wood up here and then coat it with wax. And then this year I'm going to start taking out frames with old wax foundation on it and I'm going to insert these. You can't insert two of these next to each other because then they will build across, but you can insert one in between two frames of foundation. And this, these are frames of foundation. There's 20 that I found that didn't have the wire in it. I thought I did all of them last year, so I found 20 that still need the wire. And during the winter, when it's really, really cold, you have to be careful how you handle this. So I got that sitting there in a warm room, and when I get a chance to do that, I'm gonna do that. So let me show you what else I'm doing. All right, those frames I just showed you. For the winter, I had them stored in boxes to keep them contained, make it easier to move them around. So I emptied these boxes out, and I number my, my deeps. I don't number my mediums, but I number my deeps. And not every number has two deeps. At 121 was the last one I made two deeps for. At 122, I use a gray, but I'm, I plan on making more deeps. But I couldn't do what I do if I didn't number my deeps to keep track of what's going on. Like, I know, here's a list I made of all the numbers that don't currently have colonies in them. You know, people say how many hives they have. Well, I have 200 hives. Wow, it sounds like a lot, right? But I currently have 94 colonies. Okay, why don't you guys say how many colonies you have instead of how many hives you have? A hive doesn't mean shit. I have a lot of hives, okay? And to get new colonies, I'm going to split my current colonies right now. I'm probably next month if the weather's correct or right. And I need to get all these set up. And it's a big race. Springtime is a big race. See right here's a couple numbers that don't have a second deep. So I know these right here. I need to get these set up for nukes. And it's a big race in the spring to get these frames of foundation that have been used for brood in a current colony or in a location where you don't get wax moths. If I really leave this out, if I really leave this out here end of April, May, whenever it warms up, when we don't have nights that are below zero, uh, 32, when things don't freeze, I'd get wax moths in there and it'd be a big mess. That is the biggest mess you can come up with. If you leave this outside, you see all that pollen in there? Late spring, summertime, this would be completely covered with wax moth silk, you know, the caterpillar silk. It would be a mess and it'd be no good anymore. So I'm in a big race right now to get this stuff into current colonies. And if I don't get it into current colonies, I got to put it somewhere where the wax moths won't get to. So my colonies now, they're over there. See, they're growing. And as soon as I, I figure there's enough bees in the colonies, I will start giving them these frames. But I have to... Uh, See, like right here is one. I have to sort out the numbers of which colonies. Number 29 currently in a medium, which means they're a small colony. The, the, they're not going to be able to get two deeps before I do my splits. So one of these deeps is going to end up with... Okay, so this one right here has got foundation that hasn't been used for uh, brood. But it, there's a lot of sorting, a lot of this and that. Things go here, things go there. A lot of these numbers right here are colonies that don't have their second deep or are in a medium. And these right here, I started what I'm doing here because what I did earlier is I just pulled out deeps with numbers that I'm going to need. And I've got to pull these frames out because... This is something that I do that nobody else in the world does. I put my insulated fillers in there. I'm going to make a nuke out of that deep. I put two of these in there. So two of these have got to go in there. 
And I don't want any frames at all in here because when I do my split, I'm going to pull out frames from the current colonies that I have. I'm going to put five of them in there. A frame with some brood and some eggs and hopefully a frame with some honey and some pollen on it. We'll see how it goes here this month. Uh, it's going to warm up next week. My bees are going to be bringing in a lot of pollen and nectar. And I don't feed my bees in the spring as much as possible. I try not to. And I didn't feed them last fall. I should make a video about not feeding my bees in the fall. You guys spend your money on honeybees. And you guys don't know how to do it without spending money. Don't buy queens. Breed your own queens. Don't feed them in the fall. Because what I did with my honey... And this is the thing. People ask me, are you selling your honey? No, I'm not selling honey because I keep adding to the number of colonies I have. I save my honey. All my extra honey goes to my new colonies. A colony started after mid-June will not make enough honey to get through winter. So therefore, I have to take honey from the larger colonies that had extra honey and give it to the colonies that didn't have enough time to make honey. And I always scrape this stuff off with my hive tool, this propolis. Well, anyway, that's basically what I do. And sometimes when I'm sorting through these, I find frames of honey. And I will pull them out and I save them. And then when I go through my hives on a warm day, it's in the 40s today, I decide to leave the bees alone. If I go through my hives and I find a hive that could use some more honey, I, uh, like over here, I have not spent any money on my honeybees at all, other than a few bags of Domino King Sugar this winter. I spent maybe a couple hundred dollars on Domino King Sugar during the winter, but normally if I were to feed them, it would have cost me over a thousand dollars to feed them in the fall when I make syrup. So um, I'm cleaning out the shed here. I got stuff packed in here and it takes too long to get stuff out. That's why I'm doing this over here. This is this is the basement that I'm putting in my garage and I'm connecting my garage to my house. So I'm currently working on this too. And all my money this year is gonna go for concrete. I'm mixing my own concrete with that uh that mixer over there. I don't know if you can see it. I bought a Smith mixer last year. It's cheaper to make your own concrete rather than to pay $200 for a yard of concrete. So, yep, I'm going to have a foundation down there. Hope sometime this summer I'm going to start laying blocks. You know, I built this house myself. I'm a good block layer. See those blocks there? Very easy to lay concrete blocks. I'm like a professional block layer. And then get all the blocks laid, and then I'm going to... It's going to be up to this level here, and I'm going to put a floor in here. And I'm going to finish the outside part later next year. But I'm going to have a floor in here and a wall, and I can ins insulate this before next winter. I can put hives in here, keep them warm, because that's what I do. If the colony gets too small, you have to bring it in to keep it warm. The toxic chemicals that make my colonies shrink rather fast because the bees only live three to four months rather than five to six months like normal because this winter that we just finished i've had to bring my bees into here this is a room i put up last fall in a hurry it's got a heater in here in case i need heat and i stacked them quite high in here and this right here is another room that i didn't finish yet this is going to be my extracting room and this is the concrete that i poured myself last fall so uh basically pause again Hey, to you guys that watch me on a regular basis, you know I hate the U.S. government. I support Russia, and I live in Michigan. See, Michigan. And I support Russia, ZV. That represents their military. I'm an electrical contractor. Um, things usually pick up as far as electrical work when I'm busy with bees, and sure enough, had two calls today. I went and looked at a job. But I'm not doing anything today electrically because I gotta, gotta get this. I gotta get this done. Here it is, April 6. I plan on sometime in May doing my splits, and I gotta have all these ready. 
I think I have uh, 80 some numbers that I need to use and then after numbers I have I have letters all right these are some three-quarter inch hives that I made hive deeps I made up real cheap and I have uh, 12 of them and lettered them and then here's some plywood plywood doesn't screw very well to other pieces of plywood so I put brackets in here um, I could do over 200 hives right now if I had the bees. And I could go out and spend money buying queens or packages and whatever. If I split my colonies and bought queens for them, you know, I say I have 90 some colonies the time I split. And I went out and bought 90 queens. And you bet you know, the last time I bought queens, they weren't any good and it was a waste of money. See, here's more letters. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to split colonies, create virgin queens. And try to make new mated queens. And my success rate is 50%. Well, I'm not bragging about it. But that's the best I can do. But it's still better than wasting $40 on a queen. And expecting that queen to be good quality. And end up not being good quality. Okay? Everybody in this country is out to get your money. Nobody's honest. The only way you're going to get by in life is to do things yourself. Just like my house there. If I were to pay somebody else to build everything for me, do you think they'd do a better job than I would? Probably not because they don't really give a shit. It's not their house. And I would end up paying them for the labor and I'd end up with a job that was worse than if I'd done it myself. So I do things myself. It's cheaper. You get better quality, okay? And as far as beekeeping, breed your own queens. You get better queens. You know what you're getting. Sometimes you get a dud, but that's the way it is. You didn't spend $40 on it. So... 2021, I'm, I made over 100 new colonies. Hopefully this year, I'm trying to set a goal of 150 colonies, which means I have to do 300 separate mating nukes. Can I do it? I don't know. It depends on the weather. Sometimes you have a bad stretch of weather when you have a bunch of mating nukes, and that time for the, the virgin queens are only good for mating for five days, and you get a stretch of weather with a low-pressure center over that over your area for five days and all those virgin queens are, can't go out and get mated you've lost all of them so it depends on the weather and last spring was really really cold it didn't warm up in time i lost a lot of my colonies because they wouldn't lay the queens wouldn't lay they wouldn't do brood so but this year's different it's supposed to be warm next week in the 70s which we didn't get last year at this time so hopefully the weather holds out this year and have a good summer and i can reach 250 colonies okay so that's basically it sorry for a long video thank you